Hi, I'm Vanessa Sabala from m 11 d and I'm going to show you the things that I've learned for the whole program. Example of those is the evolution of ICT and the second one is being a good digital citizen. In the evolution of ICT, it talks about the history of applications. It discusses about when the, the application was released and who made those. Word 1.0 was released on October 1983 for Stanix and MS-DOS. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented World Wide Web. It is considered as the central to the development of information age. Darcy Dinucci coined the term Web 2.0 in the year 1999. On February 4, 2004, Mark Zuckerberg invented Facebook but it is only exclusive by the students in Harvard. YouTube was invented on February 2005 by these people. Twitter was created in March 2006 by these people and it was launched on July at the same year. Did you know that the first iPhone was released on June 29, 2007? Instagram was created by these two people and it was owned by Facebook Incorporation. It was launched on October 2010. On July 2011, they launched Peekaboo but after a few months, they rebranded it as Snapchat. And the second lecture that I will show to you is being a good digital citizenship. Um, that lecture there was very easy because our teacher was transmitted either via um, a game where it was easy to understand. Every game that we have played, it's not all about um, being a good digital citizen. It also talks about on how can you help others through social media. In that lesson, there are four parts or four towers. It is the mindful, the treasure, the reality, and the last one is the kind. The first part of the tower is the mindful mountain. In this lecture, I learned about how to be mindful about my decisions, especially when it comes to my personal information. We must make sure that we don't overshare and reveal more information about ourselves because it can cause a very big trouble when it comes to our individuality. We all know that nowadays, hackers are everywhere so we must treasure our password and personal information and make it secure. We must threaten our password and security in all our accounts because nowadays hackers are very chronic. In the third tower, which is the kind kingdom, I learned there that sharing positivity can make a big help to other people. Internet or social media has a very big advantage to us people, but we can't deny that it has a bad effect too. When you know that someone is experiencing cyberbullying, you can help them through telling an authorized personnel to prevent this kind of harassment. The last tower is the reality river where my acquired knowledge expands more. This lesson talks about what you should believe and what you should not. We must know how to identify the facts and decisions in the given statements or news because we all know that social media has a lot of news and we can identify easily what are the legitimate and what are not. In knowing the legitimacy of the information, we should look for the three W's which is who, where, and when. Three W's can really help to identify what are the facts and legit in the given statements or news. I am Vanessa Sobala from M11D and that's my big blog for ICT.